great big hello to everyone watching this. I'm Allie B. Mac, aka Naruto. <sighs> Sorry, it took me so long to get here. Apparently, that run is not very effective, just aerodynamically, and considering, you know, how the body moves. Anyways, not effective is my point. But, according to Google, I, Naruto, once said a hero always arrives late, so I am pretty sure I'm allowed to use that as an excuse. Anyways, you guys are watching the second part of my playthrough of Darkwood. Without further ado, let's get right into the game. Chapter 1. Okay, so we're not dead dead. I didn't screw up. I mean, I did, but I probably didn't screw up too horribly, hopefully. Ooh. We're not doing too great. We're also in a different spot. Let's examine this oven. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Examine the oven. Look at the weird bottle. Let's examine the oven. When I arrived here a couple of days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it. Oh, I should be using an accent. Light it up to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale the revolting gas. The label on the bottle says, Staying out of the reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death of 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. So we're just calling it the substance, huh? That's what we're doing? Warning, even a properly safe, uh, properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended to stay in well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. Okay. Look inside the pot. A small, empty, cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms, these red, pulsating mushrooms, they look so tasty. Maybe this pot will be useful after all. Cook. I don't have anything to cook then. Cooly, cool, cool. Also, if anyone has a suggestion for a different accent or if I should just use my normal voice, let me know in the comments. What's inside of you? Photo of a road. The road home. Love it. Looks like an album cover. And a nail. 11 nails actually so that's not bad okay so this is our home base and it's daytime so we've got some time to look around but not too much time because we don't want to get eaten and killed and died a lot ew what are you so these are the red pulsating things he was talking about those are grody and i love it received item looking mushroom so who are we what are we doing here generator switch on we'll switch off the generator is half empty. It contains enough gasoline for one more night. I should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. Okie dokie. Well, this is destroyed, and that's bad because then they can get in. I don't even know what they are, but it, still, it doesn't seem great. It's still daytime, though, so I feel like we sh Theoretically, we should have time. But whatever. Also, all of these are planks. We should be able to use any of these. Yesterday, I barricaded one of the windows. If I, uh, if I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the other windows. Well, I would if I had wood. Uh, oh, that's great. Can we cook ourselves some mushrooms? Cool. That's, that's it, I guess. So are we just going to keep that syringe we found in the old man's house? That's hardly sanitary. Now we're just... Obviously the wizard. The wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. And following paths, because I'm not sure yet if it's better to go off the beaten path or try, try as hard as hell as we can to stay on it. Oh, lovely. Heavy breathing right in my ears. My favorite thing. Okay, I know I should be staying on the path, but like, what is that stuff? What are you? I am an impatient person who wants answers immediately, but... It appears I will not get them. Because again, that's not how stories work. Whatever, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Good stories. Build up. Climax. Whatever. Just words. Just excuses. Found. Birdhouses. 
All right, let's check these bad boys out. There should be plenty of stuff in here, right? Oop, hi dog. We're gonna steer clear of you because I don't want to have any more accidents with dogs. Do I have anything to defend myself? That I do not. Hi, puppy. I'm trying to just stay out of your way. That is good. Also a tire. Do I need that? I guess I'll find out. Please let me be, doggies. I already had to kill a pet. Well, not my pet. This evil guy's pet. One board. Uh, more nails. Cool. Maybe I should have left some stuff at home so I would have had room in my inventory. Oopsie daisies. Oopsie daisies. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ooh. I said sorry. I left you. Oh, poisonous mushrooms. Well, it's good that we know about that. Let's just stay away from those. Sorry, dogs. But also, I'm not that sorry. Could you leave us alone? I was just trying to explore the area. Although they have as much a right to all this stuff as I do. I really like dogs. Hey, pulsing mushrooms, our favorite snack, apparently. Ooh, the sounds they make are not pleasant, orally. No, orally is, wow. Auditorily. That, I'm, I'm a smart person who knows words. Oops. Yeah, that was a bad idea. So, poison usually only affects you when you eat it, but I guess that's not something that matters here. Ouch. The truck is here. It says use key. None of my keys fit. No. Please. What's going on over there? Come on. How do I help people? Why can't I jump over anything? Let's see if I can get around and help. Sorry, people. I guess you're just going to have to figure out whatever's going on for yourselves. I'm busy looking at things. I'm not here to be a hero. I'm here to survive. Wolf's camp? Like literal wolves or like a guy named Wolf? Let's check it out. I can smell your stench from far away, bitch. Hi. Oh, he's like a walking, talking wolf! Even from afar, I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, meats. The figure hides its face under, under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you lost. If you help me attend to a certain matter, what do you say, comrade? As he leans towards me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I have no time for weaklings, meat. You follow? Uh, you call me meat. I'm not sure if you're trustworthy. Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I would prepare myself well before setting out. When you get there, you will find me in this spot. Remember it. The wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. Okay, Animorph, my man. I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It would mean certain death for you, meat. Better hide in that hideout of yours. Love the dialogue. Before dark and pray for the morning light. We can gossip lots of stuff. Let's show him the plastic chick. Beautiful item. Perfect for a church fair. What's that you got there? The wolf snatches the photograph from my hand and studies it carefully. Finally, he snorts, his thick yellow spit landing on the photo. Ha! <laughs> this road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees like all the other ones. The wolf throws the photo to the ground. Better forget about the road home, meat. Around here, the roads lead to nowhere. <coughs> Jeez, um. Okie dokie, let's gossip some more. I'd avoid getting into trouble if I were you, meat, or at least until you get a decent weapon. If I were you, I wouldn't venture too far away from here unless you get bored of your loud of sea life, meat. Only a few returned from the dead swords, and those who made it back were not able to share their happy stories. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll come back later. Well, I found a buddy! 
He might be part wolf, but he is my buddy. We should come up with a name for him. Wolfie seems obvious and also reminds me of Sensei. I don't have any skills to use yet. Did I ask you to use a skill? Hey, you're a thing. Are you gonna kill me? Probably. I'm gonna avoid you. Please don't come at me, you beautiful creature. I'm just gonna hide on the other side of this bush. What? Where did you come from? That's rude. I should have a little bit of... I am not doing well. I'm gonna die real quick, aren't I? Ah, oh, another moose! Why is everything mean and cranky? Why couldn't we just have, like, a friendly moose? Who drank a lot of juice. And he got in his hair. And something, something, whatever else the lyrics to that song I learned in Girl Scouts was. We're gonna bring this uh, with us to the kitchen so that we can use it to help barricade stuff later. Let's drag this bad boy to our problem where we're gonna keep our room. Realistic dragging sounds and all, but it doesn't mean I like hearing it, you know? What if we just barricaded this? Yeah, okay. We do not have nearly enough stuff. Oh, there's a note. Turn on the generator before dark. Hiding in the shadows won't do any good. They're coming either way. So then what's the point of turning on the generator? Okay, well, I'm going to fill up this bad boy. Okay, yeah, no, it's getting real dark. And unless I find an underground entrance... Nope, let's go home. Right, this seems like a good time. It's dusk. Where's a good room to lock ourselves in? Ew. Ah! Get out of here. Can I harvest them? Cool. Night time. Hey, you stay on. It appears like I cannot use a board as a weapon, which is a bit of a bummer because that's kind of what my whole plan was hinging on. And by plan, I mean I didn't have a plan, obviously. I obviously didn't have a plan, but it would have been nice to pretend like I did. Where's my trap? I must have put it away. I'm such an idiot. I like how I'm hiding right by the bed. Maybe I can hide under the bed. Let's get under that bed. <sighs> Apparently that is not a game mechanic that they have implemented. Is it daytime? The music is getting louder and more ominous. I'm going to take that to mean it is, in fact, not daytime. Oh, it's becoming daytime. No, wait, what's the red light? What is it? What is it? Is that the sun? Did we make it? Yes! Ho ho! Oh my god, we survived the night. And we're going to end our video there. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this video, and also what you think about the game so far. And most importantly, do you have any any tips you could share with me because as you can tell i have no idea what i'm doing also don't forget to comment below with ideas for aka intros and it might use yours in a future video thank you to omar baksh who submitted the idea i used for this one hey you spiky aloe vera bastard Well, if you want to see me fight a frickin' plant, then hit that like button. Also, do that if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna have the next video out very, very soon. So I will see you then.